Weather-wise here, the rain continues. It's yeah. just so nasty outside. Mm -hmm. It is. Even if you're not under a steadier yeah. pocket of rain, it's drizzly Ooh, yeah. and <laughs> damp and foggy. And that's forecast to continue right on through tomorrow morning's drive. So maybe allow a little extra time and be sure to check in with Chuck. He'll be tracking the wet roads and the rain. And when the rain changes over to snow, it's going to be too warm for snow the next 24 hours. We're tracking some steadier pockets of rain from just uh, southwest of Indianapolis near the airport, south to Martinsville, into Gosport and Spencer, over toward Clay City, and a larger area of steadier rain from Bedford south to Mitchell, over toward Brownstown, now approaching Seymour. And we're going to be dealing with the off and on rain over the next several hours. And you can see the center of this weather system still sitting well out to our west. The rain we're tracking now will move from southwest to northeast with the heaviest impacting the southern half of the state overnight. Grab the umbrella. You're going to need to keep it handy. That tops the weather headlines for the week ahead. Scattered showers will continue into tomorrow before colder air returns on Wednesday with some snow chances too. And yes, we're talking cold air that once it gets here is going to stick around by the end of the work week. Temperatures for highs will struggle to get to 30 degrees. Right now, we're relatively mild at 42. We've got low clouds and drizzle, winds out of the northeast at 9 miles per hour. Future Track 13 actually doing a great job on the placement of the spotty showers and some of that steadier rain that's developing across the southern part of the state. That will continue to track north and east, and there will be wet roads, low clouds, and maybe even some reduced visibility for the morning drive on Tuesday. Keep the umbrellas handy. This is lunchtime tomorrow. We're still tracking rain. By 5 p.m., we've got showers, but the snow line is close. You can see the pink and blue showing up across parts of Illinois. They will be tracking some snow chances as early as tomorrow afternoon and evening. That's when they go under a winter storm watch from Saginaw to Detroit, back through Chicago into Peoria. Winter storm watch, and we're going to watch this winter storm system closely. We may have some counties either added to a watch or an advisory depending on if the movement of this storm comes a little farther south. Future Track 13, this time tomorrow we will be tracking that changeover to snow, mainly across the northern part of the state. That changeover will continue to work its way from north to south. This is Wednesday at 7 a.m. We'll stop at Wednesday early afternoon. We're going to be tracking off and on snow. Midweek, it's going to be snowy and windy and much colder by the middle part of the week. So umbrella weather tomorrow and then dig that heavy coat back out. You're going to need it later this week. 48 degrees tomorrow, rain and drizzle. 37 degrees on Wednesday, snowy and windy. We're going to have a snow map for you tomorrow because there is the potential for some accumulating snow as we head into Wednesday. Scattered snow showers for Thursday, a few flurries around Friday, Saturday, and it's cold. High temperatures only close to 30 with several mornings late this week in the teens.